just outrageous to use a hot iron as a type of punishment. I mean, it seems more like a type of torture. First at six, child abuse arrest. A South Florida mother in jail tonight accused of using a hot iron to punish her son. She claims a nine-year-old boy was burned by accident tonight. He is in protective custody as we learn more about what police say happened at the family's home in Pembroke Pines. CBS 4 Ted Scouten is live at the Broward County Jail in Fort Lauderdale with our top story at six. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, investigators believe that this abuse actually happened in February, but it wasn't called in to the child abuse hotline until just a couple of days ago. Police say when they saw the little boy, he still had two scars left on his chest, one of them that looked like the shape of the tip of the iron, the other looked like the shape of the edge of the iron. She's a mother of three accused of going overboard to discipline her nine-year-old son. Tamisha Jean is suspected of burning him with a hot iron. Just outrageous to use a hot iron as a type of punishment. I mean, it seems more like a type of torture. Investigators say Jean burned the boy twice on the chest after she became infuriated that he forgot some paperwork at school. Detectives say she told them she was holding the iron and spanking him with a belt, and it may have happened by mistake. Maybe she accidentally burned him twice uh, while trying to spank him with the belt. Ms. Jean, you are charged with aggravated child abuse. Jean made two court appearances. In the first one, her attorney asked she'd be released on a $1,500 bond. Prosecutors argued for more. I'm sorry. The violence alleged in this case is just so aggravating that it just completely outweighs any mitigating factors, Your Honor. Uh, I'm going to be requesting a $20,000 bond. Judge Christopher Pohl had his own plan. She would not have to put up any money. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to release her ROR to uh, level two pretrial release with a monitor. At her appearance in family court, the judge said that she could have supervised visits with her two other children, but could have no contact with the little boy who was burned. Your Honor, the child is fearful of his mother. We would ask for no contact with the mother. He is afraid of his mother. Can you talk to us about Tamisha? Oh we tried speaking to Jean's girlfriend at the courthouse. She said nothing, but did take a moment to flip us off while going down the escalator. And that girlfriend and several other friends are here at the jail right now waiting for her release. Again, she'll be released on her own recognizance and will have to wear a GPS ankle monitor. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.